Hello and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things evident. My name's Thomas, back with another AFC 24-7 daily report. Obviously we're bringing you these videos every single day, the transfer window. Sadly, no transfers confirmed yet. Uh, the, the market seems to have gone a bit quiet for us at the moment. But players are still being linked, as you, as you will have seen in the in the uh, thumbnail and in the title. Some players potentially rumoured to be leaving, like John Joe Kenny, and then obviously... Uh, Players like Luis Enrique from Brazil are still linked. So I'm just going to go through the headlines of today, let you know my thoughts as usual. And of course, always let us know what you think about each player in the comments below. So starting off, uh, our, our main headline for today, uh, the Express claiming that Tyrone Mings is a top target for Ancelotti. Uh, clearly the club are looking to strengthen its centre-back after the kind of prolonged saga that is Gabriel. Uh, that's kind of gone a bit quiet recently. Uh, so maybe the club are looking... Elsewhere for potential centre-back targets, they also say that Zuma is definitely high on the list as well. Uh, so we'll have to see how this one develops. Personally, I wouldn't be looking for Tyrone Mings. Aston Villa would definitely claim a very high fee. Uh, they signed him from Bournemouth only last summer, I think, for quite a large fee. So they'd be demanding some of that, a lot of that money back. And obviously he's a very important player for them and will help them fight relegation again uh, next season. Um, the other the other man obviously linked is Kurt Zuma. I'd be much more like I'd be much more sorry um, inclined uh, towards going for Kurt Zuma. I think he's a more complete player. Tyrone Mings has looked poor at times, to be fair. he's He, he had a good season in the Championship last year, but since he's come up, uh, he hasn't been particularly brilliant, and especially for the fee they demand. I wouldn't be looking to sign Tyrone Mings. I, I do hope the club kind of seal this kind of centre-back spot quickly. I'm always a bit confused about why the club are so desperate for centre-back. Personally, I think there's more pressing matters elsewhere, as in centre midfield, right midfield and right back. But clearly they're insisting on signing a centre-back probably to allow uh, players like Lewis Gibson and Jared Branthway to continue their development kind of out of the spotlight and have be forced into the team every week. So we'll have to see how this one develops. Um, personally, I don't want Tyrone Mings. Can I say it being a possibility? Yes. Do I want it, do I want it to be? No. Um, and then obviously also in the Daily Express article saying that Everton apparently will move for Manchester City defender Adura, Ad, Adara Boyo. I'm going to say his name is pronounced. I'm not really sure about that one. Um had a couple of loan spells, obviously Blackburn was recently, I think. I think we've been linked with him in the past as well. Um, he hasn't really broken into City's first team yet, so we'll have to see how this one develops. Uh, a young player, tall, very strong. Uh, he, he, lo he looks like a good prospect. Depends what kind of fee they demand for him. Uh, I'm not sure how many years are left on his current City contract, but we've definitely been interested in him in, in the past. And clearly he's developed well at Blackburn, or the club think he has, and that's why they might target him. Uh, we'll have to see how this one goes. Personally, I'd put, probably put him before Tyrone Mings. I really don't think Tyrone Mings is a brilliant player. Wouldn't really help us a lot. I think he could be, be quite erratic at times. Placing him next to Michael Keane might not be the, uh, the most brilliant idea. Uh, a good defender, but sometimes on the ball he's not brilliant and can make very costly mistakes, which we shouldn't be forking out high money for. So let us know what you think about those three centre-back targets. Um, maybe rank them of, of how interested you are in each one between Zuma, Adaraboyo and then uh, Tyrone Mings. Personally, I'd put Zuma at the top, then add a Boyle, and then Tyro Ming. So we'll have to see how that develops there, but do let us know in the comments below. Um, on the potential outgoing in defence, uh, the Daily Star claiming that Southampton rejected the chance to sign John Joe Kenny. Apparently, Everton offered Kenny uh, to Southampton uh, when he returned from his loan, loan spell with Schalke. But they turned it down and clearly favoured a move for Kyle Walker-Peters, uh, which has become very important for them in their deal to sign Pierre-Emile Hoybier. Potentially, this was used as a tactic by Everton to kind of ruin their deal for uh, Hoybier to go to Spurs. If they signed Kenny, there'd be no reason for Carl Walker-Peters to go the other way. So a deal might have been um, trickier to follow, but clearly that, that deal's happening now. Walker-Peters is going uh, heading to the world to the, uh, the very south coast, uh, leaving Spurs and Hoybier is going the other direction. I'm not sure what kind of the money is involved, but I think that's what currently is the situation. And clearly that, this shows the club as well. Uh, they don't fancy really Kenny. It, people haven't been too certain about what Kenny's future looks like. Do the club favour him? Do they not? Uh, and obviously, if they're offering up to a club like Southampton, whether it was a tactic or not, they clearly think he's an expendable player. Uh, they can sell him. They could probably demand a good fee for him. He had a, he had an all right season. Uh, Shark, obviously, young English right back. English always inflates fees. Uh, so we'll have to see how this develops. But clearly, as well, this might suggest that the uh, the, the Shellick uh, rumours from uh, Lille are more likely uh, because clearly uh, they're looking to move on John Joe Kenny. So we'll have to see how this one uh, goes. Personally, I'd probably look to move on John Drew Kenny if we have to raise money. I think you can demand a good fee for him and then kind of invest elsewhere. The the fee for Shellick has been quoted somewhere around 15, 20 million euros. Facing competition from Spurs as well, but I think they have to sell on Aurier before they'd even do that. So uh, we'll have to wait for that anyway. And speaking of Shellick, actually, we've just uploaded a scout report. Um, 
with uh, Jeremy Smith, a French football expert. He tells us more, a bit more about him, so be sure to check out that video. Uh, it kind of gives us a bit more insight uh, than I could about what kind of a right-back he is, what kind of player he is, and how well he might adapt to the league. So definitely do check that out. Um, and then on to uh, some, some links that I think are believable, but obviously not come from the most like brilliant sources. Uh, Luis Enrique, uh, a young Brazilian player currently playing for Botafogo, um, uh, obviously in the Brazilian league. He's been linked with us in the past and apparently now the club are waiting for an offer, effectively. Uh, Sport Witness are kind of uh, citing a bunch of different reports in Brazil saying that they expect the player to leave. Apparently they turned down a bid for him from Spartak Moscow last summer, uh, clearly, favoring, uh, uh, clearly preferring him to move to Italy or uh, Italy or England, uh, with Napoli the other rumoured interested club. Uh, I don't know much about him. Apparently, he has been confirmed a kind of a similar kind of play style to Richarlison. I'm not sure whether that's kind of a lazy link. Obviously, both come from Brazil, but we'll have to see. Uh, obviously, we have been linked with Brazilian players in the past. We were clearly interested in Renier, uh, who before <laughs> before has moved to Real Madrid. Obviously, uh, clearly, we are scouting that kind of market, looking for potentially uh, bargain signings. As Richarlison was for Watford at the time. Obviously, they had a very good profit on him. And apparently, I think Brand, Brands is actually very interested in, in the South American market and always has been throughout his career. Uh, so we'll have to see how this one develops. Uh, I have no idea, kind of, the region of the fee that it would be. I don't really know what he would add to the squad. Uh, but we'll definitely have to see Young come from the Brazilian League. We'll have to see how he develops. Uh, so let us know what you think about that one as well. Would you be kind of looking to kind of leagues like South America for potentially bargain signings? Apparently, the club are also scouting kind of the Portuguese and French uh, markets. Uh, I'm not sure if that rumour was confirmed, but I think I saw that in the Echo a few days ago. Are they, are they the kind of areas you'd be looking to sign players? Obviously, you could probably get players from the Portuguese League and the Brazilian League for a bit lower fees. Might struggle to kind of um, adapt to the Premier League, but maybe worth the risk. Uh, so let's know what you think about that. Would you be looking in those kind of regions to sign players? Would you prefer to kind of try and find a bargain rather than sign a Premier League proven quality player? Um, like Watford did with Richardson, who he obviously has now developed into a very good Premier League player, but it was definitely a risk at the time, but they've succeeded. And then kind of just to round off, just re reiterating uh, kind of the, the story about uh, Leon Bailey, uh, his, his agent now. This, this is a, uh, a report that's coming out every day, basically saying his agent has told uh, that Bayer Leverkusen have told him and his agent that he can, he's le he can leave for a certain amount. We don't know how much that amount is, but evidence scouts obviously were watching, so that'll be an interesting one to see how that develops. Not really any breaking news on him, but this report is definitely not going away anytime soon, so that probably increases uh, its likelihood, uh, its kind of believability, so we'll see how that one goes. Let us know what you think about all the players discussed today. Would you be looking to move Kenny on? And if so, who would you kind of sign to bring in at right back uh, for cover, potentially to Seamus Coleman, or potentially to go straight into the first team and bench Coleman? At centre back, would you prefer and would you kind of prefer Tyrone Mings, uh, Kurt Zuma? Would you stick with Gabriel? Obviously, that deal is going on for a very long time, so we'll have to see what the club does there. Would you look to add Raboyo, who might be available on a lower fee, but obviously there's no kind of guarantee that um, he'd adapt well to the Premier League. Obviously, he had a couple of loan spells in the Championship, so we'll see how that one goes. And then Luis Enrico, if anyone really knows anything about him, do let us know. And tell us, would you be looking there for potential bargains to potentially sign players from there? So thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of our videos and uh, the club and the, uh, our social media in the description below. Um, Check out the, the Shellick scout report. It's a really good video with Jeremy. Uh, really gave a good insight into what kind of player he is because uh, he, he is still fairly unknown in terms of the, the European scene. So we'll see how that one develops. And obviously it was, it was a really good insight, really good chat to see more about the player. Um, check out these 24-7 videos every day. They're doing really well. We thank you all very much for your support. Let's hope about and kind of complete some business soon obviously this is all just rumors at the moment we're looking for something a bit more concrete but we do hope that comes soon so thank you very much for watching and join us next time on the toffee blues oh, no,